Hello students, we have read in this chapter about many points, Play, uh, say for example from the beginning we have seen like which kind of uh, like what has to be done before sowing the seeds ok. Like first of all we prepare the field by uh, digging by uh, you know adding manures and little bit of fertilizers then uh, after that seeds were sown we have discussed which qualities of seeds has to be taken seed has to be of good quality good quality means what that also we have studied like the crop production should be good in which way like quality wise also it should be uh, good and quantity wise also it should be good ok. After that we have also read about the uh, irrigation when and how uh, the water has to be given to the crops ok and this we have read the uh, normal way or we should say about the traditional ways how the irrigate how the fields used to be irrigated ok. Then we have also studied about the modern ways of irrigation ok. Now uh, after this we have read like you know what like uh, unwanted plants are known as like weedy sites ok. So, we have also read about the pests uh, how they destroy, but we have not discussed the thing pay, uh, how much they can destroy and what has to be done to protect the crops that we are going to do it ok. So, first of all we have read like what uh, has to be done so that a better quality of crops can be uh, obtain ok. Now, crops are ready in the field ok, it has to be just harvested ok, a very important uh, part of the farmers life. Like you know harvesting is not less than a festival for the farmers, in fact I should say like it is celebrated as in the form of the festivals also like you take the example of Bihu or the Wali, Holi, Pongal, Bisaki all these are basically harvest festivals ok. Uh, just like why the farmers has to celebrate why this harvesting is celebrated. So, you know just uh, a simple reason so much of efforts of farmers has been put up ok. So, much of hopes of farmers are along with this crops so much of money is being invested, so much of sweat has been you know the farmers sweat we can say like he drops he does not drops his sweat, but he drops his blood ok. So, much of uh, like all even not the only the farmer himself is indulged in this, but the whole family the family members are also they are they participate in one or the other way uh, for growing crops in the field. And so, you know when the uh, crops when they see when the farmers see the crops uh, uh, very you know uh, the fields filled of uh, crops they consider it as a golden like you know golden thing or the uh, like they can observe they can understand like yeah now this is the time of result. So, you know it is as simple as when we work very hard and if we get very good result ok. So, why we are happy because to get to obtain that result we have given we have uh, put up our efforts ok. In the same way when we talk about the farmers the farmers also they have like why they are so happy before the harvesting or during the harvest uh, because they have given their efforts they have given their 100 percent ok. So, now it is time to celebrate for them. So, harvest festival is celebrated or during like you know all these festivals just now which I named are like uh, you know it is a time to celebrate and because like biggest festival for the farmers ok. So, just we will have a look how the harvesting has to be done and what is the meaning of harvesting. So, we are going to read about the harvesting. So, what is the meaning of harvesting? We have discussed uh, before also that whenever we talk about the science it is very very essential to write the definitions and to quote the examples of 
harvesting ok. So, what is the meaning of harvesting? The, the cutting and gathering of crops is known as harvesting. Okay. So, what is the meaning of harvesting? The cutting and gathering of crops, okay. the cutting and gathering of crops is known as harvesting. Okay. So, now what is the exact meaning of this? I just now I read the definition, but what is the meaning of this? See, uh, there are many crops which needs to be just you now uh, just cut from the like suppose these are the crops. So, there are many crops which just need to be cut off from here and like the farmers do it, they cut it from here and some crops they uproot it. Okay. So, again we have discussed that how they cut it and how they uproot it, they cut it with the help of sickle. Okay. So, the instrument used over here is sickle. Okay. So, what is sickle like? Just like a question mark. This is a holder sort of thing, it is having a this part is made up of wood. Okay. Why it is made up of wood? So, that it does not get slips first of all and a grip sort of thing, thing sorry it gives a grip to the sickle. So, the farmers or the person who wants to use the sickle can hold the handle from here. Now, see this is the part, Okay, this is the part from where the crops are being cut. When I talk about this crop, when it has to be cut, so how they are going to use it? Like this, okay. like this they are going to use it, this is the handle. So, how they are using it? Like this part, this part, inner part, this part is inside the, like it is towards the crop and by the help of this handle, it is going to cut it. Okay. So, this is what cutting cutting of the crops and gathering that means, it is not like that you know the some part of the field is cut, it, it has to be like the total field is cut particular when I talk about a particular crop, if the same crop is grown in a particular field, the whole crop is being cut and they, the, the crop, the whole crop is gathered, they are collected, okay. they are collected in a, uh, they are collected in a particular area. Okay. So, how it can be done? It can be done by the instrument which is known as sickle. Okay. Now, after this what has to be done? Like there are few processes, okay. there are few processes which has to be conducted. Okay. So, what are those few processes? Like first is threshing. Okay. Now, what is the meaning of threshing? See, when I am suppose take the example of wheat, so here we will be having grains. Okay. So, if this part totally if this part is cut, okay, but the grains, the wheat are the wheat grains are inside this stock, this I can say this one, okay. And you know it is really not easy just to take out the grains from that outer covering the grains has to be removed from the covering. Okay. So, what has to be done after cutting the next process which comes is threshing. Okay. What is the meaning of threshing? Like to remove the, to remove the grains to remove the grains from where? Okay, to remove the grains from the harvested
to remove the grains from the harvested stock of the hay. Okay. So, what is the meaning of threshing? To remove the grains from the harvested stock of the hay. Means what I am talking about means it has to be removed from this. Okay. When I am talking I am saying to remove the grains that means we will be removing the grains from where it has to be removed from the harvested means it has to be cut stock of the hay. This will be the whole thing will be stock. Okay. So, what is the process threshing? After cutting of the crops the next process which has to be done is threshing and what is threshing to remove the grains from this particular stock where it is at present it is there it is situated over there. Okay. Now, what has to be done to remove the grains or to remove the uh, crop results the yield from the stock see it can be done in two ways first of all like uh, can be you know the some farmers in the olden uh, days they used to uh, like the many farmers used to get together the many people they used to jump on that. So, by the pressure of the feed the grains used to come out this is the thing like I, I may say like uh, very old I am talking about traditional ways after that now the farmers they take the you know, help of the animals and what they do you know like suppose they have a uh, maybe bull. So, what they do they tie a strong a heavy log like this a heavy log is tied to the animal. So, when animal moves and first of all see what the whole grains or whole crops not grains the whole crops this stalk is spreaded like this and on this the animals are allowed to move and on the uh, back side of the animal this big logs the woods ok very heavy one is attached. So, what happens when the animal is moving on this ok when the animals moves on this along with this heavy part the grain it comes out automatically along uh, sorry from this hay or the stock ok. So, what I am talking about I am talking about threshing what is threshing we have to remove like the grains has to be removed from that stock. How it can be removed uh, like the farmers they use certain animals maybe camel maybe a cow maybe bull. So, and they what they do they tie a big heavy logs to the animals and they allow the animal to move on this harvested crops ok. Due to pressure the grains comes out due to pressure the grains comes out and it both the things get separated ok. Now, see due to the pressure of the animal what we have got now the grains are all along here ok we have got grains, but remember we have got this whole part also. Now, it has got mixed up ok. So, how it has to be removed? Due to the pressure of the animal all this has become uh, you know it has the stock has become, but now what is going like what has happened the grains are totally mixed up with this are you getting my point. See we have removed the grains from this whole part of the plant, but now the whole part of the plant and the grains these two things are mixed up over there. So, now how to remove this ok how it has to be removed or how can it be removed. So, the next process is winnowing ok. The next process is winnowing. Now, what is the meaning of winnowing? Winnowing means you can understand just you know what we have done we have removed the grains and but the grains are still over here. So, what has to be done now grains has to be removed from this part. So, how can we define it the process of removing the grains from the 
चार ओके द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिमूविंग द ग्रेन्स फ्रॉम द चाफ नाउ सी all this things has become like you know it has broken now it is not in, like i we should not say we cannot say that this whole thing is one part only one plant only no it is broken why it is broken because of the process of the threshing it is broken okay now what is there with us we have got all broken part of that plant and along with that we have got grains so you know this process which includes the removal of grains from that all broken thing okay cha cha means that uh, bhusa what we can call it okay so how it can be done see uh, if you have seen in the villages you know they have a, a supra sort of a thing you know uh, like it is like this okay it is made up of wood and it is having a handle sort of we can hold it from here okay and they just put the things on this and they just move it like this so you know what happens see the higher the heavy things the heavy things the grains are heavy so what is happening it will fall down by the chaff the broken parts the uh, bhusa is very light so it is going to fl uh, fly in with the air it is going to fall a distance away are you getting me clear see i have chalks in my hand okay or uh, if i mix some lighter part in this okay so what i will do i'll just do it like this when i do it like this the lighter parts what will happen it will come in the corners okay the heavy chalks are heavy so it is going to come back now this lighter part can be removed and it can be thrown away okay just one more example i would like to give it to you you all have seen might have seen groundnut okay at home if it is roasted okay if the ground nuts are roasted and we have to remove the skin of that um, particular nut okay so what has to be done it has to be rubbed slightly and after rubbing it has to be like if we uh, try to just do it in this manner okay so what will happen the latter part of that will be collected in the front part of the plate it can be removed it can be thrown up with the hands and the groundnuts will be left behind okay same is winnowing what is winnowing the process of removing the grains from the chaff okay so this includes like what we are talking about first of all we are talking about harvesting okay what we have done in the harvesting the farmers are very happy and right? the farmers are very happy and they have they have uh, just now they have cut the crops okay now but they are happy they have cut the crops but still uh, much of the work is left still left so what is the first process threshing what is threshing to cut the hay the stalk to remove the grains from that plant part how it can be done it can be done with the help of the animals okay now after threshing we have got mixture this mixture how this mixture can be removed it can be removed with the help of the like which process winnowing what is winnowing if you fail to understand what is winnowing just remember the groundnuts okay roast the groundnuts at home try to remove the skin rub it with the help uh, help of your hands slightly and not just think that you have to remove this skin of the groundnut along from the ground that groundnuts so what you will do let's just do it like this so all later part they come ahead okay and it can be removed in the same way here also grains which is mixed up with the chaff is what has to be done it has to be like the farmers they move it like this so what happens the heavier parts okay they just moving in this way the heavy they are or, you know just if we throw it like this the heavier parts the grains they are going to fall straight away to the ground but the lighter part the chaff the skin of the groundnuts what will happen to that it is going it is lighter so it will fly okay and it is going to be it is going to fall little bit apart little bit far clear okay before uh, harvesting i would even want to bring one thing in your notice that the crops has to be protected from the weeds like we have studied what are weeds the unwanted plants it has to be protected from the pest also 
okay but one more thing the crops has to be protected from the birds also you might have seen many uh, you know scarecrows which they make it in the farms okay like one uh, like they just you know they make a person up uh, uh, they make it with the help of the stick and they just uh, allow it to wear the cro they uh, you know with the help of the cloths they cover it and this it take the form of a man like somebody standing in the field and what happens uh, due to like the uh, when they are when this uh, thing is standing in the field the birds they get scared and they don't come to that particular part okay you might have seen someone uh, if you have seen the field like the person they take a big uh, string in their hand okay and they keep on moving it like this and they also produce the sounds uh, various kinds of sounds from their mouth which you can uh, when they use it to uh, you know they just want the birds to move away from there that particular part okay so this is also the two things which uh, is very interesting uh, and it keeps the birds away from the crops because you know it's very dangerous if the birds once start attacking the fields they come and start eating the um, fields so what will happen they are going to eat the crop the grains from the crop so to protect the crop the scarecrows are kept in the field they are made to stand and along with that uh, a person they they keep little you know one or two or three person in the field who moves along with the hunter and they produce a sound it's very interesting i like this and they keeps on moving and so that they the birds get uh, they but the birds do not come and sit over there okay so next is see the crops are being cut okay threshing is done winnowing is done now the crops are ready so what has to be done what can be done now the farmers want to uh, sell the crops okay obviously for selling the crops he need to pack the crops in something he just can't uh, sell the crops like that only in the open way and for selling the crops one more thing that he has to come to the market okay if he has to come to the market he needs to bring the grain in something that means the packaging packaging is very very important okay one more thing i would like to tell you as the uh, the thing crops are ready they will be packed up in the uh, a sort of you know uh, jute bags okay maybe some other kind of bags when it is packed it is again very very you know uh, a tedious job or one has to be very very careful because you know again there is a risk of getting uh, maybe the due to some one or the other reason due to moisture due to temperature or some other reason the crops the grains it can get destroyed can may get spoiled okay what can be the reasons how the crops has to be stored how the crops needs to be packed we are going to read this and also that how the crops can be protected and what are the dangers what are the things which is very very dangerous for the farmer so we are going to have a look upon that okay uh before this just one more thing we have discussed all this thing which is so we have read about the harvesting process all these things which we have discussed is done manually but even this can be done uh, with the help of a machine which is known as combiner now what is the name of this combiner okay combiner so what is the purpose of this machine and how it is means it is a why the name combiner is there because it can do all this work in one stroke only okay which kind of work it can cut okay and cutting is done threshing is done and winnowing is done means it is what three in one it is three in one how it is three in one because all three processes 
like harvesting, threshing and winnowing all these three processes can be done in one stroke only. So, this machine is very very useful as it saves lots of time, it saves lots of energy ok and the work also becomes very very fast. So, all these processes can be done with a simple machine which is known as combiner ok. So, now we are going to read about the storage. See 